Hey, it's just so Trish, and I have a taboo topic, probably. I think Dave Ramsey's wrong. Not on everything. I think he's excellent on a lot of stuff, but I think he calls a few things wrong. And I happen to disagree. And so today I want to talk about what I disagree on him saying that mobile homes are bad. Here we go. Okay, so I, just so you know, we're actually looking into mobile homes. We're looking at getting a new home. I'm going to talk all about that. And so I went and started, I'm always doing research. We've been contemplating and we've been looking for the past like three months. And I came across a Dave Ramsey mobile home topic and he got into he's like you know there's people spending 50 to 150,000 on these Taj Mahal mobile homes and they just drop in price and they're never a good investment. Dave Ramsey I think you're wrong. He says if you get a house it only goes up 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 in value. Dave Ramsey I think you're wrong. I love Dave Ramsey but let me tell you in my experience that has not been the case and Granted, markets had crashed, but I have a house, a brick and mortar house that's supposed to go up, up, up in value. Ten years later, I'm lucky if I can get 75% of the price I bought it for. And now I bought it at the top of the market. And that's including losing all money invested in it, all money upgrading it to live in it. I am walking away with nothing. I could have, I, I might as well have been paying rent at the end. I got nothing in return. It was a living place. Before I bought that, I had bought a mobile home. I bought a little single wide mobile home. I did some renovations. I mean, I didn't gut it to the end, but I bought this little $30,000 mobile home. I did about $5,000 just to make it nice because I'm like, it was so cheap at the time and we were out of college just a little bit. We had a baby coming. I just wanted to be comfortable and we totally bought under our, you know, we bought way under our price range. <clears throat> I sold that thing for $60,000. Tell me how they don't appreciate, they depreciate. I know, okay, honestly, maybe I should throw a poll up here. <clears throat> what is your heart on mobile homes? Manufactured homes. Homes that they put on a trailer, they bring in and they put here. Not a modular, not a modular where they use a crane to set it. I'm talking a mobile home. So here's my poll. Not in my life would I live in one. Oh, sure. They're like a house. That's my poll right here. So you can see what everybody thinks. So here's what I run into and here's why we've been discussing and we've been looking into mobile homes. We went ahead and we've purchased nine and a half acres. We're on 10 acres and we bought an investment house that was adjacent to the acreage and it's an investment house. It, we have like the house I'm in all the time. We have no intentions of staying here. We just were staying here until our house sold. And at some point we have to get out of the house because it does need renovations and we can't renovate it while we live in it, but this is just a temporary, temporary fix. So we were in the debate about do we build a house or do we buy a house or buy a mobile home and have a brand new mobile home put in or even a used mobile home put in. So I love my property. Oh my goodness, I live in great, beautiful property. And so it comes down to, do I build a house or do I bring a mobile home in? And I've gone over and over and over about building a house and custom built one or having somebody come in. One, my husband is never going to let somebody come in and build our house. He's just not that guy. And he's like, we can build it ourselves. Okay. My husband is a great man. He works so hard. He commutes like 10 hours just in commuting a week. I'm kind of like, honey, where are you going to find time to do that? Oh, we'll get it done. I'm like, 
okay, but where are we going to really find time to do that? So that's the first aspect. The next aspect is we're a little headstrong around here. He is headstrong. I am headstrong. We don't agree on building a house. It is everything from, he's like, I'll just build a, you know, because our biggest thing is square footage. And this has been a hard one for us. And we're still like not totally committed to what we are doing. We are still just figuring it out. So square footage has been an issue. I have six kids and 1,600 square feet. And I have stuff. And it's everywhere. And I have toddlers that pull it out. And there's never like... My poor child, my boys' closet is also the linen closet and the jacket closet, you know, and it's not very big to begin with, so it's a bit much. So our big thing is square footage, and a lot of times it's he's just like, let's just build a huge building, and we'll put one bedroom in there, and we'll put one bathroom, and we'll call it a house, and we'll make it work as we go. And I'm kind of like, I love you, but you don't have time to fix this stuff here. How are you going to have time to fix that and then it's like but I want this here and you know so we argue about it and we have a big debate so then it comes into what about a mobile home why not a mobile home and we went and looked at some oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness they're gorgeous I'm going to do a follow-up video to this next week and I will actually take you and show you some of the mobile homes I seen they were they're fantastic. And some of them was just like, I'm like, where's my bags? I'll move in here. You don't even have to move the house to my place. So there's so many ways. And you can get literally a 2,000 square foot mobile home at 70,000. You can get a 2,000 square foot mobile home at 140,000. Whatever you want, you can spend it. And so there's so many things. And one of the things that has not scared me from mobile homes is when I do like I go I use realtor.com a lot you know I'm not being sponsored I'm just telling you what I use anyways I've used them and I've looked where there's a mobile home on property they're holding their value now granted most of it is because it's property but if you take care of a mobile home they hold value now if you trash it it doesn't. But if you trash a house, it doesn't hold value either. So I just really was a little bit taken off on it. You know, there's no guarantee that if you get a house and you spend the extra money on a house, that you're going to get that money back. Dave Ramsey, there's no guarantee. Now, there's a high probability that you're going to build a house and it's going to appreciate over the course of 30 years. Now, granted, my house I bought in 10 years, I'm lucky if I can get 75% out of. But maybe over the course of 30 years, I could. My problem is, it's a brick and mortar house. Outside of tearing it down, which the bank will never let me do. If the house doesn't fit me anymore, I'm kind of out of luck. And that was our case. I moved in there with one baby. One kid. I only had one kid. I When we were making offers on the house, there was no intentions of having somebody else come any time soon. Literally, the day we were moving in was the day I found out I was pregnant with number two. Number three came quickly afterwards, and then number four followed suit, and number five showed up, and we were there six months late longer, and we had to leave. We couldn't fit in the house. Couldn't fit in the house, and I'm kind of stuck. Because if your house dropped in value, there's nothing you can do. And granted, there's like, well, you move into a little house and you make do and all of that. I understand that. But sometimes that's just not practical. So, to be honest, if you had a mobile home. Now, granted, when you own a mobile home, it's a lot more like you're renting. It's a lot like rent. Not for the fact that you're not going to give your money back, but it's kind of like I'm paying for a service to have a house that are my walls. I'm paying for a service. So in some aspects, it can feel like throwing money away in some ways. 
my way of thinking of it is if I got a mobile home, I ex I plan to live there 10, but I expect to get 25 years out of it. And to be honest, my dad rebuilt a 1972 mobile home still in use, still in use. So it doesn't even matter what it is. I mean, you might have to tear down and rebuild, but I haven't seen a house that, I mean, I've seen a few hundred year old houses, but for what I'm paying in the convenience I get, I kind of think it's worth it. So, I mean, I might've lost some of you by now. You're like, dude, you're talking about a mobile home. You trash or something. No, no, no. You know, and it's not like that down here. Down here, we have lots of mobile homes. The big part that comes down to is if I had a mobile home and I had it on the place that I lived 12 years ago when we outgrew that house, I could have sold my used mobile home to the manufacturer and got a new one, just like a car. But it's your house. Now, this can be like completely foreign to you, but in our instances, my biggest thing right now is I need a house for the next 10 years. The next 10 years with six small children becoming big children. And I need to have it that I can pay it off in seven years because in seven years, my oldest starts college. And when my oldest starts college, it becomes the next 15 years. There's one or more children in college at all times. It's Expecting that they all go and expecting, you know, that there's going to be expenses with that. Hopefully there will not be a lot of expenses. Hopefully they're going to do wonderful in getting college scholarships. But there's no guarantee and not that I'm out to fit the big bill, but I need to be prepared for there's going to be expenses coming and I need to get a house that fits. And for us, I'm figuring a mobile home. Now, I can get a used mobile home, and where I live, I'd have to have it inspected to make sure it could be moved. And I've contemplated that. But with my children having asthma, not asthma, but allergy-induced asthma and having issues to mold, there's no guarantee the condition. There's none. And where we're at in this time of frame, I want guarantees. I want that 10-year warranty sticker on it that says I can call them up and say fix my house because I know you can't do that with a builder in a subdivision I mean I heard that you can but my girlfriend like spent six months fighting them and at the end of the year finally got her house somewhat right but not right so I'm looking at it on that aspect I need square footage I need my number of bedroom counts I need all these different things to make life livable and easy and Dave Ramsey will tell me no and that's okay because but anyways, so I've been kind of wanting to share that with you. I've been wanting to share it because a couple months ago we went and I did take video. I just haven't had a chance to edit them. So next week I will have a video up on the homes I looked at. Um, we looked at two different manufacturers and we looked at a used one. And I will talk probably more about it. But I just, I really want had that on my heart. I'm like, you know what, dude, you're wrong. You're wrong. He's also wrong about rice and beans. And I'll put a video up on that because Julie had it right when she's like, you know, Dave Ramsey says eat rice and beans until you're out of debt. She's like, at the expense of your health is not okay. So that's, click that little thing. You'll see the video um, on it. And tell me what you think. Leave me a comment if you're just like, they ain't. And I've got a girlfriend. She's like, if I would have never lived in Florida, I would not have understood like the use of mobile homes. And I mean, they're nice. You can get them as high end or as low end as you want. And to be honest, I'm going low end with a few things because in 10 years I might rebuild the whole inside anyways. I just need to take care of my children right now and they're probably going to tear apart the walls. So anyways, I just wanted to share that with you. I will talk to you later. 